We've discussed ball position in as far as how it influences your shoulder positioning if it's too far back or forward in your stance and how it can influence your right hand on the grip if it's too far back and forward. But correctly understanding the ball position of, of all the clubs in your bag will help you get a cleaner strike and then obviously with a cleaner strike you're going to get the correct distance out of the shot. So basically what we can do is we can lump all the clubs in our golf bag into three different groups. We've got our short clubs which would be a lob wedge up to maybe a 7 or 8 iron and we've got the ball in the middle of the, of the, of the feet and the hands always over the left thigh so they'll be slightly ahead of the ball and then we'll have the medium clubs which could be 7, 6 iron right up to your hybrids maybe even your 5 wood and that's just slightly forward of the stance maybe one golf ball forward and then another golf ball forward would be your three wood maybe, your driver. Okay, and my hands are still over my left thigh. So now, because my, the ball's forward in my stance, my hands will be over the ball. Just the last thing about ball positioning is, is if you move the ball forward in your stance, your right shoulder must just stay back. See, my right shoulder is in the same position as, as what it was when I was hitting a, a wedge. My spine is just curled a little bit more behind the ball. So go ahead, work on your ball positioning. You'll get a cleaner strike and maybe you can break that 90.